Hi everyone. So today we're going to do a Google Draw with me and create a pumpkin for fall. So first you need to start with a blank Google Drawing. Next we'll change the background. That's a right click, background, and I'm going to make it white. Now up at the shape menu, we're going to choose a shape that looks like a pumpkin. In this case, I'm going to choose the circle. And now I'm going to sketch out my circle to be more like an oval. And the default color here is blue. So if you want to change that, you can go to the paint bucket and I'm going to choose orange for my pumpkin. And that changes the inside. Now my pumpkin needs a stem. For this, I'm going to choose the square and make it like a little rectangle. And this is orange, so again, go to the paint bucket and I'm making it green. To remove the black outline around the stem, next to the paint bucket, you see the marker, choose that, and transparent. Now I want to add some depth to my pumpkin. So I'm going to choose this half moon shape and draw this over my pumpkin. So here I am trying to get the shape right. You can move it around. You can drag the corners. I'm trying to get it so that it will fit over the pumpkin. Because then what I can do is once I have the shape the way that I want it, I can change the color. And again, with the paint bucket and then that outline tool next to it will remove the line on the outside. And you're going to see, I'm going to play with this color quite a bit to get it the way that I want. Not quite happy with this color yet, so I'm going to choose gradient. Still go with an orange. And you can see, you can get lost inside gradient. Select your shape. Choose gradient. And these are predetermined gradient colors that are provided to you. But you can also do custom ones. And so here's a duplicate. Then you can right click on it and go ahead and flip it. Oops, that didn't work. Let's try that again. So right click, there we go, flip. And then you can move it to where you want. Now a little trick is if you wanted to move it just a little bit, you can hold down the shift key and that will nudge it just a little bit. So I'm gonna draw some more little half moons. And here you can adjust the shape a bit. Fill it with that gradient that I found. That I thought I found. Again, make sure you have your shape selected and then you can apply your gradient color. So that was a duplicate. And then I can just flip it to go the direction that I want. So this is just giving me a little bit of depth to my pumpkin. Totally not necessary. If you're doing this with students, you could have them add shapes to their pumpkin to make it look more like a jack-o'-lantern with some triangles for eyes and other shapes.
So here I'm just making some adjustments to my pumpkin. And see, totally get lost on those colors. We're going to speed through all this nonsense. Now I want to add some tendrils to my pumpkin. So for this, I'm going to use the line tool and scribble and just scribble out some little tendrils for my pumpkin. Now, the first one, you can see the line is very thin, so you can adjust that um, by choosing the thickness there and make it thicker and adjust the color the same way with a little pen tool. You add some more, adjust the thickness, change the color, and now I have tendrils. And here I'm putting the stem in front. So select it, right click, move to the front. Then you can make some little adjustments to your tendrils. Here if you use that blue ball, you can the top you can rotate it and get it into the position that you want. So far my drawing is made of a bunch of different pieces. So I want to group them. So I'm going to highlight all of them, do my right click and choose group. What this is going to allow me to do is resize and move my drawing anywhere onto the paper. And you can see right there it got ungrouped. To make a pumpkin patch, I'm going to select my entire drawing and then duplicate. And you can do Command or Control D to duplicate. And I'm going to resize it, kind of move it in front of the pumpkin, just creating a little vignette. And that's another duplicate. Select Command or Control D to duplicate, resize. And now I have a little pumpkin family in front of my big pumpkin. Now I left space on the canvas so we could write a message such as Happy Halloween. And for this I'm going to use word art. And I have a whole video on how to create word art and how to do custom gradients in word art. Which is what I've done here. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for future videos. Until next time, bye everyone.